I'm holding a, a Bradford pear or calorie pear stem in my hand right now. These trees uh, were really brought to the U.S. back in the early 1900s and really started getting very popular in America in like the 1950s and 1960s. We planted millions of these trees all throughout the United States, typically in suburban environments. And we did that for a lot of reasons. One is that they have these beautiful flowers, white flowers early in the spring. They have brilliant fall colors. Um, they thrive in a lot of different environments. So for all the great tra traits that this tree has, um, it's a very weak wooded species. So it, in storm events, it will tend to break apart um, and can cause property damage on people's, on people's property. Um, through hybridization and seed uh, dis uh, distribution throughout, um, throughout the wild, um, it hybridizes and will take over um, native landscapes, particularly grasslands. Um, you, can, you can look at these, uh, the, the flowers here. We've got white flowers, five petals. Uh, the leaves are oval. They have uh, ridges on them or teeth. These leaves get glossy in the, in the summertime. Um, and they have a pyramidal um, or columnar shape. They'll have uh, straight upright branches um, and it'll get about 30 to 50 feet tall. So the cultivated uh, Bradford pear or calorie pear uh, is a thornless species. Uh, once it hybridizes uh, and es escapes cultivation and gets into kind of these wilder areas, it does develop uh, pretty nasty thorns as well. Um, uh, people think that the tree also stinks. Um, it has an unpleasant odor in the springtime. <laughs>